Greetings, pen pals. What I got for you this week is the Hang Dian Model 960. This is a duofold style pen, not an oversized pen, fairly conventionally sized. Here it is sized up against a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. And as you can see, uh, lengthwise, it's right up against uh, these pens pretty much spot on. It is a bit girthier. Um, it is made out of a very, very nice um, acrylic material. And as such, it's got a, sort of a middle of the road kind of weight for a pen this size, weighs in at 29 grams, but it is pretty solid and it has a nice feel to it. And the material is actually quite pretty and quite attractive. This is in a orangey type color. It does come in a few other colors as well. And like we said, it's definitely a duofold style here with the black um, uh, faux piston turning knob at the, at the back, has a, uh, uh, a gold tone trim ring gold tone uh, cap uh, cap band um, um, uh, etc so um, gold tone clip band gold tone clip all around so it's a pretty nice uh, all around the clip band it says Hong Dian and 960 on the clip band on the top of the finial it has a little dove emblem with some like laurel wreaths around it uh, it says uh, Hong Dian and world peace which is certainly admirable um, it is a screw to uncap uh, pen and it uh, unscrews in uh, one and a half turns. Um, the clip itself is actually a pretty nice clip, pretty conventional clip, um, but gets the job done. It is a bit stiff, but, um, but it does work uh, quite nicely. The pen does post. It does not post deeply at all. It actually posts sort of shallow, so the pen is quite long when posted, but it is on there pretty solid. Um, again, I'm a big fan of posting. Um, it's actually, I think, a little on the short side unposted, but that's just my personal preference, like I said, because I'm a big fan of posting pens. I will say... There is a little bit of back weighting going on, mainly because the pen doesn't post deeply, and this is just extending way back here. Um, um, but, you know, it's fine with me. The section is a nice section, matching the same acrylic as the rest of the body. You have a little trim ring there, but the section is fairly short. Um, but uh, not to worry too much, because the threads above the section are fairly unobtrusive. Um, and it does have a bit of flare out at the end and an additional trim ring before you get to the nib, which is a very nice number six size, two-tone steel nib um, that says um, uh, Hong Dian, uh, uh, says, I'm sorry, it says 1997 and an F for fine. It has some scroll work and has a logo. And then it's got a bunch of names written in Roman um, uh, characters but um, uh, uh, Chinese names written in Roman uh, characters. The nib uh, is, uh, is advertised as a fine, but as you'll see, for an Asian nib, um, it's, it's actually decently wide for a fine, so I'm actually quite pleased with that. And of course, it has an uninspiring plastic uh, feed. The pen is cartridge converter, uh, filled. It does come with the converter, but uh, there's all sorts of metal bits in here, plus the whole way that the barrel is constructed would uh, preclude eyedroppering uh, this pen. Um, that's um, the main uh, parts of the pen. You're probably wondering if we can compare it to some other duofold style pens. Um, yes, we can, and we're going to do that right now. Okay, here's um, our Hang Dian 960 that we're uh, talking about today. Uh, and here it is next to the genuine article. This is an actual Parker Duofold Big Red model, Big Red Senior to be more specific, from um, uh, the 1920s. And you can see it's the uh, very, very similar in style. The Hang Dian pen is just a fraction longer. Um, it's about uh, also um, a, a fraction longer than the Parker is this one, which is very, very close to the Parker Duofold. This is the Jinhao Centennial. Great pen, by the way. I did a review of this quite a while ago. You should check that out because this, this is a terrific pen. Uh, also a terrific pen is the um, uh, Man M800, which is right here. And as you can see, is, um, is actually just a tiny bit longer than these guys and about the same as the uh, as the Hang Dian. So as you can see, this is sort of dual fold sized, dual fold style 
etc. So very much uh, a, a dual fold uh, 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 type of pen, um, evocative of, uh, of those. Now I know what you're thinking. How does this pen write? I'm not going to keep it a secret anymore. You want to see it right? I'm going to show you it right and I'm going to show you it right now. Okay folks, what we're writing with here today is a Hung Dian. model 960 and this has a number six steel nib and they are calling this a fine but as you could see um, for an Asian nib this is really more of a medium this is more like a, a German fine uh, in my mind um, but this writes uh, pretty smooth quite smooth actually, can't complain at all about the smoothness, uh, has a pretty good flow, and I would say from a wetness perspective, it is about average, but it definitely is broader than most uh, Asian uh, fine nibs. So all in all, a pretty nice writer, pretty nice looking pen for sure, um, um, and uh, uh, all in all, a nice package from uh, Hang Dian. If you want a nice um, dual fold style pen in a very, very pretty acrylic. This is a, uh, an option for sure. Quite nice pen. So I think that'll just about do it for this pen. Um, uh, but one thing I would really appreciate is if all you folks could please like, comment, share, and subscribe that would all be very much appreciated by yours truly i think the time has come for us to talk about this ink now for a minute and let's do that right now all right this is a very very nice orange ink a little on the light side but a very nice orange from birmingham this is birmingham safety vest Um, and yeah, that's about it's about the color of a safety vest. That is uh, uh, definitely what it is evocative of. We could take a look at the color swatch for this guy. Um, again, pretty much uh, uh, a nice orange. Definitely a bit on the lighter side, but pretty pretty nice. Here it is compared to another orange ink from Birmingham. This is Birmingham Albert Einstein Relative Cadmium, which is a bit darker. Um, this is Arosha Zuku. Um, you Yake, which is also a bit darker and a bit more saturated, for sure. This is Diamine Autumn Oak, which is definitely browner and also a bit more saturated. Uh, Lamy Bronze uh, is actually quite comparable to this color. Very, very similar, indeed. And uh, Noodle is Apache Sunset, which is quite a bit lighter than this one. All righty, Birmingham safety vest, quite a nice ink all in all. And again, uh, another winner from Birmingham. They do a pretty, pretty good job. Uh, that's what this ink looks like on this Rhodia paper. Let's take a quick look at what it looks like on Tomoe River paper, shall we? All right, folks, as we said, this is Birmingham. Safety vest. Like we said, a nice straight up kind of orange ink, a little bit on the light side. You get a tiny bit of uh, color variation on this Tamari River paper, but really, you know, no sheening or, or anything super fancy like that. But a very, very nice ink, the ink that is a quite aptly named, because that is definitely what comes to mind, at least in my mind, with this particular shade of orange. Well, I think that'll just about do it for this video for this week. I sure hope you enjoyed watching it because I know I certainly enjoyed making it. And as always, until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.